Hello and welcome to a new vod log. This is the 60 watt dummy load discussed in episode number 38 and 39 and the, if you haven't watched those two videos I recommend you do. There will be links on screen and uh, in the description below. If you have watched those videos or if you know this dummy load then you know its biggest limitation is the fact that it only goes down to 0.2 amps and I have explained that's because uh, the very low value 10 milliohm shunt resistor which wouldn't generate enough voltage drop for a current below 200 milliamps. So username Kerry Smith asked in the comments if it would be possible to replace that shunt resistor with a higher value one that would allow the dummy load to work below 200 milliamps. When I read the comments I immediately thought about changing the shunt resistor to uh, 0.1 ohms that would make it uh, very easy because the current range of uh, 0.2 amps up to 9.99 amps would go an order of magnitude lower that would result in a, a range of 20 milliamps to 999 milliamps and uh, it would be also easy to read the current value on the 7 segment display because you would just need to ignore the decimal point and consider all digits as milliamps instead of amps as uh, labeled on the PCB. I immediately went through my shunt resistor bag and found this uh, 0.1 ohms shunt resistor from Dale. This one is 3 watts rated. Considering that now the maximum current will be 1 amp, the resistor would have to dissipate a maximum of 0.1 watt, so just a half watt rated shunt resistor will do the job with a big margin to spare but this is what I had in my lab a 3 watts one so this is what I will use in this uh, mod so if you would like to perform this mod first you need to desolder the original 10 milliohm shunt resistor that will be easy to do and uh, next depending how your new shunt resistor looks like you need to determine how you will mount it mine happened to have the uh, perfect distance between the SMD pads that it would actually line up with the um, plated pads from the original resistor. So what I did was I placed the new SMD shunt resistor over the uh, plated pads on this side of the PCB and then on the uh, bottom side of the PCB I heated those pads and fed some uh, solder and uh, it just uh, reflowed the SMD pads on this side. It almost looks like it was uh, meant to be this way. So now let's uh, do a quick demonstration. I have reduced the white balance on the camera just so you can uh, uh, get a better reading of this um, 7 segment LED display. I am feeding 5 volts from my bench supply through this uh, multimeter used as an ammeter in this case and feeding that 5 volt signal to the input of the uh, dummy load. So uh, let me just uh, go down to the minimum setting of um, now after this mode, the minimum setting is 20 milliamps. So as I mentioned earlier, we need to ignore the decimal point and just read what we get on this um, lower amps display as milliamps. So let's uh, turn on the power supply Okay, and now let's turn on the dummy load. As we can see, we get bang on 20 milliamps. So let's slowly increase our current. That's 30 milliamps. And yes, we, we are measuring uh, approximately 30 milliamps. 40. 50. 60, 70, 80 milliamps, 90, and now 100 milliamps. So, yes, I can pretty much say this is a successful mod. I can now use this dummy load to test, for example, uh, batteries for discharge currents uh, down to as low as 20 milliamps. And as shown on video, it is quite accurate. Let's go up to the maximum 999 milliamps. In fact, I will stop at uh, 500 milliamps just to check the accuracy. 
yeah it's it's quite accurate i mean yes we do have an error of uh, about uh, nine milliamps in this case but uh, i think that is within the specs of this unit i don't remember its accuracy but i'm pretty sure it's within its specs as you can see the voltage uh, dropped because i'm using uh, these uh, thin long wires but that is not a problem uh, with the dummy load itself but with my current setup and let's go to the uh, full rated 1 amp you can see the dummy load will just stop at uh, 999 milliamps and uh, yeah we get an error of uh, about 10 milliamps which is uh, acceptable for a 1 amp end of uh, scale I think this is an interesting and useful hack for those that want to test with smaller currents and I think I will purchase another one of these dummy loads and just keep one with this mod for low currents up to 1 amp and the other one with its uh, full range that will go up to 10 amps. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below and uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and I will see you next time.